Okay, I call this next effect ZPR. It's a title. ZPR stands for Zoom Pan Return. And it starts off with the normal frame and these rectangles that you see on the screen are the destinations of the camera during this transition. So, you start here, it goes to the green, this is just like the Ken Burns stuff in Final Cut, you got a green and a red rectangle. And then it moves to the second target and then it returns back to the, the starting view on the way out. So the features you have here are you have the targets. If you turn off all the targets, this is just a four title title. One, two, three, four. You can pick one or the other. Uh, you can do like target one and target two and it'll zoom in to target one. Move to target two and stay there. Okay. So you get the gist of all of that. You have the transitions here. You can do constant ease in, ease out, accelerate and decelerate. And then you have a transition time. If you set the transition time longer, then this effect is going to spend more time transitioning. It's not really going to pause. It's just going to keep moving. And if you set them short, then it's going to snap. So I go from here, snap to one, snap to two, snap home. And you can keyframe that to change the transition times during the transition. Since you can position the playhead here and your texts change for convenience, you have all of the titles here that you can just type here without having to get to them from the canvas. And if you want to change font style, drop shadow and all that, just use the text. And if you set the playhead and you can grab this on screen control and position them on the screen wherever you want. So now let's get to the core of how to use this. With this selected, you get this on-screen control. You have the two target rectangles that you can position and I recommend starting near the beginning of the clip so you can see. But again, this I've got this set up so that you can keyframe this. So if you want this focus to transition while it's on the screen, you can keyframe positions. I'll let you play with that. I'm not going to go into showing you that. It's pretty straightforward stuff. But you can set the target size. So you can zoom this far in. Okay, I mean that's ridiculously close. So let's just see what that is. Okay. So you have the target size. There's no rule that says you have to keep these apart. You can center them on each other and change the transition so you have various levels of zoom. And then you can click on show targets to get rid of the rectangles when you get ready to render this when you're finished setting it up. One more thing, let's see. You do not want the rectangles to go off the screen because you'll just get black. Okay, so you keep the rectangles on the screen. And this is how you set it up. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. You can download it from the link in the description.
and I'll catch you on the next one.